Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new Windows Insider preview build for the Dev Channel, which has rolled out recently, build 26120.2213, which was made available with the update KB5045885. So if you are interested in new features that Microsoft is working on, or if you are in the Dev Channel, just a quick overview, just to give you a couple of the key highlights um, from this build. Now, first of all, this is what I would consider to be a light release when it comes to front-facing features, uh, because at its heart and core, the update is really a major bug fix update addressing some important issues um, if you do find yourself in the dev channel. But there are two changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out. And just to mention the first, Microsoft says that it's beginning to roll out a change where it now hides the IME toolbar when apps are in full screen mode for those who have the IME toolbar enabled and type in Chinese or Japanese. And then the next change, which I actually posted on yesterday, and I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen, if you would like some more info, is that Microsoft says it has temporarily disabled the new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard, which began rolling out to the dev channel in a previous flight. And the reason for that, as I mentioned in that video, is to address some issues with Microsoft saying this feature will roll out again in a future flight. So if that's gone missing in the dev channel, apparently it's across the board in all the insider channels and also in the stable version. Now, as mentioned, those are the two changes and improvements. Not much really going on when it comes to front-facing features, but we get some key fixes that have rolled out. And just to go through a couple of the key highlights, if you do find yourself in the dev channel, the start menu has received three fixes where they fixed an issue impacting the start menu reliability. And they also fixed an issue causing some insiders to see unexpected, an unexpected amount of spacing between items in the start menu apps list. And then they fixed an issue where the ability to pin and or unpin apps to and from the start menu was unexpectedly unavailable for some people. So that's been addressed. So three key little issues have been fixed there in the start menu. And then moving over to the file explorer, which gets uh, two important fixes for the dev channel, which I'm always happy to see when file explorer gets a bit of attention. They fixed an issue which was causing the items in the navigation pane here to the left hand side to become very spread out with unexpected padding between each item for some people. And they also fixed an underlying issue which was causing raw RAW images taken in portrait mode to unexpectedly display in landscape mode in the in the actual thumbnails. And then just to mention two for sorry, three for the taskbar, which I think you may be interested in. Currently I'm um, in the stable version, as you may well know, just on a side note, if we head over to our taskbar settings and we enable automatically hide the taskbar. As soon as you do that, the search box turns to the search icon. Now this is going to change where Microsoft say they've made a change. So you will now see a search box if the taskbar auto hides when the setting for search on the taskbar is set to search box rather than an icon. And I think that's a nice step in the right direction. I would prefer it uh, just to stay like it is when you can always see your taskbar if you have search box enabled. I think that's a nice move. And then they also fixed an issue where the X button um, to close an app window from the taskbar wasn't working for some insiders. So that's here in that little thumbnail preview that pops up. And then get, heading back to the taskbar settings, if you have a left aligned taskbar, they fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left aligned taskbar users where the widgets text in the taskbar might overlap the date and time. So that's basically this feature over here. And uh, um, that's just one of those little niggly issues that's been sorted out. And as mentioned, a couple of key fixes making its way into this latest dev channel flight. And guys, just one more to mention. There are some other fixes, but these are what I thought you may find of interest. And they fixed an issue causing the task manager to show a zero count for apps and processes. So there we go. Zero count. It's also available. Is a bug that was introduced with Windows 11 24H2. In a recent update, zero count, zero count, although everything else is working. So that's on its way to the stable. 
and that's already been fixed in the dev channel so i'm expecting that uh, fixed to roll out um possibly uh, next week uh with the patch tuesday uh, security update that we'll be rolling out next week to the stable version starting the 12th of november so guys that's more or less what's new in this latest flight for the dev channel built 26120.2213 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one